Guys, so we got some progress made on the hoop barn here that we're going to do a little bit more today. But as you can see, we got our boards up that run across here, and we got a couple hoops up, so making a little progress over here. So, as you can see, we've got two boards there one that runs down the side, one that runs on top, and then we've got our brackets for our hoops that have the lag bolts that go through them and then attach up there and then you've got your purlins that attach to each one and these two end ones have a couple braces too um, that go on them but we will do that last they uh, just brace up to help hold um, where that tarp gets stretched up and uh, puts pressure on that so yeah we've got a uh, finally making some progress i will say that those two hoops were a little bit challenging and not really ideal how we got them set so got a buddy that is headed over here now and he is bringing us a boom pole um, to stick on the end of the forks on the tractor um, it'll give us a little extra reach um, to get these hoops up there um, and hopefully a little bit easier so what we're doing is we're putting them together on the ground getting them all together running a self-tapping screw um, through each one to hold it together when you lift it up and uh yeah raising them up there and setting them and getting everything screwed together here's my little my little man basket that i stand in um to fasten it all together uh, came from a cage tank just took the tank out of it so strapped to the tractor and uh does a pretty dang good job keep me in there so but anyways so that's what we got going on and definitely making some progress it looks like it's supposed to rain um next couple days so we probably won't get really much more done um get a hopefully get a few more hoops set this afternoon and then we'll be back at it probably this weekend or next week um i'm liking to get some hay cut but i don't think the weather's going to hold out for it so but anyhow, so that's what we got. So what I'm using right here is just kind of like a little homemade jig and I screw it down into the, the top board right here and once I get the other side of the hoop bolted down into the post and I come over to this side this allows me to pull that hoop in and get it set in here so I don't have to hold it while I'm trying to bolt it down because them hoops are they've got some spring to them and they want to pull away from you and it's really hard for you to keep it held still especially by yourself. And this just really, it helped out a lot when we used it. So as you can see here, I'm putting screws in these pieces. So they come in three different sections. And so you have to screw them together so that when you lift them up, they don't fall apart. <clears throat> and, the, and the important thing to remember about these is that you want to make sure that you run some duct tape around the seam. Because you never know when there's going to be any sharp edges left over from where they got where they cut these and all that and when that tarp gets pulled over top there it's real tight and it's going to move i mean the wind and all that's going to cause little slight movements in the hoops and that's going to rub against that tarp so you really want to make sure that you don't have any sharp edges or you end up 
with a hole being rubbed into that tarp. So we're just make sure that we put several layers of duct tape around each seam, um, anywhere that I, I put a bolt. And the, another important thing is to make sure that all the bolts got, or all the screws got screwed in from the bottom side so you didn't have any head of the, any, any of the, the screw heads um, up touching, touching the tarp to where they would rub and end up putting a hole in anything. got it done and I didn't record a whole lot as it was raining but I got some at the end um, you all saw a couple finishing up putting the, the hoops together and stuff like that but here she is got her all all knocked out uh, I'll just go around and talk a little bit about what we did so as you can see or as you did see um, we had a boom on the front of the loader tractor um, that we used to get the... Luckily I had a buddy who has built a few of these and this is a little bit of a homemade thing but your hay spear goes in there and they've got a horseshoe on the end here that just hooks up to, the, hooks up to the, the hoop there on the pipe so it worked out really really good to get it up there. Um, I wish this tractor was a little bit taller, but it's all right. It's the only loader tractor we have, so it works out and does what it needs to do. But then, to go in and attach everything, got a couple of these cage tanks um, from the place I used to work, and I just pulled the, the plastic out of it. And that's one thing I like about this tractor is the the hay forks can double as pallet forks so we just slide it on there and strap her down and it gets me where i need to do i had a couple two by fours in here to get a little extra leg up on a couple places up there in the middle especially it was a little bit taller than the loader wanted to go but we we got it took care of so then i didn't show it but at the end here there's four of these extra braces on each end go in between there um, that just helps brace it up whenever you pull that tarp along the back and so we, we got here oh and we also which you've already seen but got the tent up or at least some of it um, these ratchets go on right here over top the tin so I had to make sure that I went and got 10 yesterday to at least put up here so we could attach these ratchets to ratchet the tarp down. I get the uh, these posts finished getting tamped in and dirt smoothed out the way I want it. I'll go get me a couple more pieces um, 
and finish this out on both sides and then all we have we'll have left are uh putting tin on the outside on the ends and getting all of our stalls um done the way we want it and we'll put gates up um that way like i said in the videos before um that way i can open my stalls up and make them bigger or smaller whatever i need to do so we got that and then there's the tarp and there's a box underneath that bucket over there i uh i stuck it under the bucket so it wouldn't get wet or did what i could so it wouldn't get wet but it's got all of the straps that go from the tarp or from the tarp to the ratchet and all the little ratchets and straps for the ends so we will get to all of that later yeah so that's what we've gotten done and that's all about what we're going to do today i think we are going to me and layla i think we're going to mow the yard a little bit since it's getting a little tall and it needs to be mowed hopefully they're getting ready to start on the house soon talk to the builder he is pulling permits so hopefully we'll have that starting soon and be something new for you guys so um trying to think what else we've done anything that might be interesting to show you how we did things but other than that jig that jig or not really the jig but the, the boom is a lifesaver um wouldn't be able to do it without it i think if i ever build another one of these I don't know, I might probably end up doing it the same way, but it'd be really nice to get like a telehandler or something like that um, to do it. Oh, I know one thing. Uh, you saw me using it, but this little thing you right here, this little jig right here, that's a lifesaver because these these hoops, when you put them up, they're kind of sprung and you've got to push them together. So that thing allows me to, uh, we'll get that end over there bolted down and this end push it up in there and that jig just holds it and i can bolt it down and get it off straight and you might be wondering why my bolts look all crooked <laughs> but the reason i did that is just because the way that these things sit they sit on the outside here on this two by six and i just angled all of them in so that i could hit this six by six as much as i could and really the when you put the tarp on it's going to hold it down really good so probably didn't have to worry too much about it but you know it is what it is and i always like to make sure things are as secure as they can be so um one thing my grandpa he came over yesterday and helped us uh put the tin up because my smart non-smart decision i bought two pieces of i bought my tin i bought and I bought it in 37 foot sections because I was like, I only want one seam, which it looks really good, but it was a little much to handle. So ended up needing an extra person yesterday. So my grandpa stopped by and helped us out holding the tin up so we could screw it down. We got the galvanized tin. Um, it's running like two, 290 a foot right now, um, the painted. 390 the guy said so trying to decide whether i know i'm going to run the galvanized on around the front the same height as this um, but i think from there on up i'm going to do white to match the tarp um, i think that's what i'm going to do my wife likes the idea too so it's probably what we're going to roll with but she might just want galvanized all the way through but she's just going to come out here and look at it and see and we'll make a decision on what we're going to do Obviously the galvanized is cheaper, but it's a dollar a foot. I'd just rather make it look the way I want to make it than trying to save a few bucks at this point. Um, everything's so expensive anyhow, so. Um, but yeah, so that's pretty much what we've got. I know I really don't need a hopeful another sheet, but I'll just raise this up, and slide that sheet, other sheet in. I'll probably come up to around here or something. Um, depends on how much i smooth this out i know that corner down there has got a little more dirt in it than this corner down here so i'm gonna try to drag some of that down and i gotta finish tamping and filling in my holes i filled them in some and tamped them in but some of them have got some water in them so i'm just kind of trying to let that get all soaked up and then go back in and tamp it some more and other than that so 
if you uh, if you haven't already please be sure to like and subscribe we've got a lot a lot more coming and like I said hopefully they're gonna be starting to build the house soon so be a lot going on with that and get some hay cut down and uh, a little bit of that so hopefully hopefully there's something something you like and you want to come back and watch for so but other than that we'll catch you next time